Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we've decided to stay at Legoland Windsor Resort Hotel and go to Legoland Resort as well in the morning. I'm excited, are oh you? Oh my God, I've been wanting to do this my whole life. I, as a kid, wanted to come to Legoland. My parents would never take me. And I can't believe that I'm at the age of 40 something before I actually go to Legoland. Did you ever go to Legoland? 44. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. No, that's what I'm saying. I've been wanting to go my whole life and I've never been. Did you build Lego as a kid? No. I but I just thought it was a quirky place to come. So I was never really into Lego, but I just want to experience the park. So check-in process is really easy. I've already done it online, which means I've got a QR code. I scan it and then we can get to our room. There's a choice of two rooms. There's like a, a pirate room and a kind of adventure room. I've gone for the adventure room over the pirate room just because it looks a little bit more fun. And apparently there is some little exciting little lego hidden treasures in there for casper to enjoy we haven't got any dinner reservations so we're gonna well hopefully eat in the hotel and we've come actually at the peak of the summer and it's it is so quiet isn't it mind you we have come we have come late in the day that's because check-in was four o'clock and it's probably i think about half past five now so hopefully we should see our room let's go let's go walking from this side because there is a dragon breathing out smoke which I thought might be rather exciting. Attention to detail, look at that. Could have just put a dragon there but no it had to have smoke which I like. Good touch. Yeah but the amount of hotels right after all this time of being open the smoke would have stopped by now wouldn't it? So here we are I've already checked in online so I don't need to go over there online collection pick up my key i just scan my qr code like that there we go just confirm agree to the terms and conditions confirm and pay what's that for five pound maybe that's for parking here's my room key that is a lot of lego men i like the fact it's got that magnifying glass look at that as a kid, I would have absolutely loved this. So many. Love the carpet, all Lego. What's the five pound for? So it's the deposit, so it's a holding fee, uh, so that when, to make sure there's no damages and that to the room. So in the entrance, they've got a bit of a Lego shop. Not much else is really here. So we just need to go up on the, up on the lifts. Love the lifts, how the little Lego people look like they're jam packed in the lift. Number four. Are you excited? I hope you enjoy your mezzanine floor. <laughs> so it's very clear. I never get bored of working this lift. It has plenty of ups and downs. Fourth oh. floor. That's the fourth <laughs> floor. Okay, adventurers, <laughs> this is you. So you get a text message with your room number. So we're room number 445. Look, there's a little Lego man here. Is this real Lego? Oh my God, so someone could just vandalize this quite easily. I doubt it. It's probably glued together. Yeah, glued. I have to say, I don't know why, it shouldn't be scary, but the hallways are freaking me out a little bit. I bet they are. <laughs> why? Oh my oh, God. <laughs> Gabby, the last time you joked. That's actually a spider, oh but it does. God, it does look like <laughs> Yeah, there's loads of them on the floor. And snake, you hate snakes. Oh no. But yeah, very darkly lit, isn't it? What did I say, four for five? Yeah, that's, that's just freaked me out now. What should, why did you draw my attention to that? Again, I can't tell whether the carpets are dirty or it's supposed oh, yeah, to look beam. like that. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't tell. Dirty, Here it is. Room number 445. Do you want to do the honours? Of course, it's a stiff door. So normally I check out the room and then Gabby comes in later, but I thought I'll get Gabby's take on it first actually. But we walk in here and this is the children's bunk beds. This is so cool, if I was a kid, I'm almost like yeah. wanting to be a kid again to explore this room. It is so good. The only bad thing about this room straight away is, well, understandably, it's got little bits of Lego everywhere. And obviously Casper being two, they're gonna go in the mouth. So we have to kind of 
keep an eye on that or literally move them out of the way, but they are floor level like they are down here, which could be a little bit of a problem. Cabby loves the bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> How cool is that? You're a kid again. Yeah. I'll take the double bed all to myself, I don't mind. There's a little light up there as well. Yeah, I like this. Oh God, I loved bunk beds when I was a kid. Yeah. I always used to say to my mum, mum, can we have bunk beds? It was always neck. Look at the wallpaper though, that is brilliant. And where the TV is, that is great. And there's so much stuff here for Casper to twizzle around with. And I love that there's little hidden bits of Lego toys everywhere. It doesn't come with a phone, that's Gabby charging a phone. Again, I can't tell whether the carpet is clean or dirty. Can you? It's a hard one, isn't it? The only thing you can really do is look in the grooves like in the corners and see if there's any dust and stuff because it's hard to tell. Look at the cushions for the kids though. That's cool. Isn't that good? Yeah, I love a good bunk bed. Probably a lot of germs on these bricks, right? Because I don't think they probably clean them. What's this? I definitely have now you've touched them. Thanks. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Did you pay extra for a safe? Oh, how do we get in the safe then? I don't know. Coming into the hallway, Gabby's favorite tea and coffee are here. Right, the kettle test. Not bad. Bit of stagnant water in there, but not bad. Not too much lime scale. Tea, coffee. Oh, nice. Nice biscuits. Little quiz for the kids, or if you want to do that, Gabby. Oh, do that with Casper, not that it'll realise. A couple of deep drawers, actually. So there's loads of shelves down here. Dust test. It's a new thing. You can't do the dust test. Wow. Especially when you don't dust. <laughs> Hangers as well, and there's more shelving up here. There is a, an iron. Randomly the iron is there. But look, there's so much shelf space actually. If you've got kids and you've got loads of luggage. The bathroom is in there, we'll check that out in a minute. And I hear there's something special in there if you have little children. What, have you been to the toilet? No, I'm not. Have you left us anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what I mean is, is there's something really cool for little kids in there. So we walk into the main bedroom. And I'm actually impressed with the, the age of the hotel. It doesn't look too old, does it? No, it's actually quite cool. Compared to the Ottman Towers Hotel that looked really dusty. Yeah, and um, it's a bit more minimal. It's, it's not as much clutter. No, there isn't. I like the theming. It's adventure theming. So there's a, like around the world adventure theming going on. A world map there, or actually. Is that a world map? Yes, it is a world map, but it's really focused on East Anglia for some odd reason. <laughs> but look, there's little Lego nuggets everywhere. These cool little butterflies. There's one there. I love this. And there's a dragonfly up there. Uh, cool? do, do they light up or is that just clear Lego? No, yeah, just, that's, that's clear just clear Lego. Lego. Right. That looks like a brand new TV as well. In fact, look at that. No wow. fingerprints on it whatsoever. It's a good job that's not on the floor because otherwise Casper would. We've got a cot ready to go. So where is the hairdryer? It's randomly there. Odd place, but it's not an odd place actually because it's quite good for in front of the mirror. So you can sit there and do your hair. We have a mini bar. Children must be supervised when consuming any items out of this fridge. Is this? Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe once, it looks like once upon a time there was stuff in here but now there isn't. So, <laughs> because otherwise they're just doing that for mums and dads if you put stuff in there for the kids not to touch it. But yeah, there's nothing in that mini fridge. Once again, there's only just one chair. Gabby, I'll have to sit here or you can sit, we can take turns. Love the lamp behind me and the Lego parrot, which is above. Nice touch. I was surprised, I thought that'd be really dusty, but it's, it's nice. But I like that, that almost looks like it's, um, it's brand new. I don't know whether these rooms have been redone recently, but I love these lights though, by the, by the bed. So we're gonna do the bed test, but we're gonna do the bed test together, which we haven't done before. It's, it's quite comfy, quite creaky actually. You do sit Ooh. on it a lot more elegant than I do. <laughs> Straight away, I felt very springy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Less memory foam, more spring. As beds go, how does it feel? Not bad. I tell you what. What? bit dippy. Dippy? Yeah, I don't know why, but that just sort of came to my mind. It's a bit of a dippy bed. Wow, when you move, Ooh. I really do move. Woo! <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> I've just accidentally moved the lamp. <laughs> Look at that. Well, at least it doesn't um, get moved too often. Nice big mirror there. 
I paid extra for a park view. So let's see what we've got. Can you see the park from here? Well, yeah, you can a bit. You can't see kind much of. of it. Is it I worth... I suppose it's probably the best you're going to get. There's lots of trees involved. That's the exit you go out of the hotel, the entrance, which you can go into the park. And is it worth paying extra? I can't remember how much it was. Maybe it was 10, 20 pound extra for a park view. With this view, personally, I could have yeah. saved some coin, actually. No, I don't see the point. No. You can't see much. Although you can see some Lego out the window. Or the... <laughs> There is this Lego out the window, which other kids must have thrown out. I don't think that's supposed to be on the floor, though. I don't know what that is. There's hey. something red there, and then there's something green over there. Is that supposed to be part of the carpet? I think so, because there's red and green here. Yeah, I know there's red over there, but I don't. that looks a little bit out of place. When you turn on the TV, pretty cool. Got the logo, TV guide, hotel information. It's got the weather forecast, so we can check out the forecast for tomorrow, which uh, says... 23 degrees and sunny actually for the rest of the week it's all right lego tv what's that so non-stop lego tv and movies that's pretty cool if you like that but i'm excited to show you the bathroom because it is pretty cool in here this is so nice for a bathroom that is peculiar having that sort of mirror in a bathroom though isn't it i know it's a themed hotel but that is like something my grandma has in her lounge that's i think that's pretty room. cool actually there's more Lego in here, and some of this is actually really big. Love the attention to detail, because I thought, well, they probably wouldn't bother putting bits of Lego in the bathroom, but... I do like these little bottles, they're cool. Legoland body wash? Yeah. Shampoo, condition, bubble bath? Yes! The fact that I get more excited about bubble bath than Gabby does says a lot. I love having bubble bath. See, the funny thing is, nice. in other hotels that would be like bath soak or something like that, but because we're in Legoland and it like specifically for children, it's bubble bath. <laughs> Did we mention the Legoland soap as well? A, a nice big sink and um, it looks like bits of like little sprinkles. Thousands. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, like, like how the towels are stacked up there, yeah. ready to go. Now this is what I was saying about the toilet. I don't normally mention toilets, but as I walked in, the lid was already up by the way and Look at that. There's a, there's a little lid for little children if they're potty training, or if they're not, actually. Don't you think that's cool? That because is. this is a hotel designed for children, so that's actually really good. Look at that, the stickers on the toilet roll, and there's two, randomly, I've never seen that before, two toilet rolls for by right the toilet. Right-handed or left-handed. Right, let's check out the shower. It's a shower bath. Ooh, I like this. I like the fact I the bath like has got this. Oh, I hate them. Well, I'm not saying it's attractive, but it is really good for safety aspects. There's the amount of times I've nearly slipped in a shower when I've stayed oh, in yeah, a hotel. Oh, yeah, they're good. It is very clean. You know, I normally would pick up on how dirty it is. I've actually seen some of the online reviews of this hotel, and they do say, a lot of people say it's outdated and it's dirty, but the room we've got does not seem that bad at all, does it? No, it doesn't seem old. It looks like it's quite modern. It's been refurbished. Massive rainfall shower, and there's another shower there. There. You don't get many taps that are that long though, do you? But how many people can you fit in the shower? Well, quite comfortably, one, two, maybe a third person in there. I've always done this thing where I say how many people can get in the shower because it just gives you a better idea of the size of it. You understand that we don't, you know, like to shower with more than... You're a very strange man, Tim. This, I've just noticed though, um, there's no air con in the bathroom, which is good but it is very warm in here. We've just literally come in and just pushed the door to. It's really warm. Yeah. Wash, 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 wash your hair. Wash, wash, wash. Random thing to say, and I pick up on everything, but these doors look pretty new as well. I've just noticed the, the handles, they're pretty shiny, all brass. These look like new doors. I mean, look at that. Look how shiny that is. Wow. I know, I'm, I'm talking about the hinges of the bathroom door. That is super shiny. That's the air con. It's nice and chilled in here at the minute in here. i forgot to mention this mirror look at this padded mirror i like that that is nice stickiest door ever right well the room's all right let's go and check out the rest of the hotel i think it's this way even the artwork on the wall is made out of lego and little lego people i wonder if you can get like a, a lego caricature of yourself while you're here Dada. did you just say daddy I think you can, you know, I've heard of that. Yeah, I'll have to probably. go and check it out. We're now on the third floor where all the pirate rooms are. Ooh. There's a pirate Lego man. 
But yeah, the, the, the hallways look the same, although the carpet is a little bit different. Great Yarmouth. Great Yarmouth. No way. <laughs> Piece of home. I don't, I'm, I'm quite surprised why it focuses on East Anglia so much rather than the rest of the country. Do you find that a bit odd? wonder why. Yeah. Literally where we are, our hometown. Let's go down to floor number one. I thought you might like this one, Gabby. <laughs> oh, I loved this when I was a kid. This is so, this is so colourful down here. Compared to all the upper floors where it's a little bit dark and dingy, these are, uh, they look so, I'll tell you what, it must be really difficult to keep on top of the dusting of these, but they're pretty good. Oh, right, that's reception down there. I was on, like, what's that I down there? I love this floor. <laughs> I would love this for my bedroom. You want to stay on this floor? Wow. Look, the microphones wow. and a little radio cassette. Go, Ninja, go! Did you know? We love we these love lifts. this hotel brick by brick. Jamie has been a wealth of knowledge of the Legoland Hotel. He's just been filling me in with all the details. Is this good for adults as well? Because <laughs> there is a little bit of me that's very intrigued. Casper and Gabby have already gone in. They just won't wait for me. Well, no, enjoy it. Have a lovely time. Thank you very much, Jamie. Yeah, we'll do. Cheers, Jamie. Where's Gabby? Look at this. Wow, we can't keep up with him. <laughs> There's even a bar in here. Where's he going? Look at the size of this Lego birthday cake. Shame we don't light up. Look at the candles. So I take it these are pre-built and you can just add to them or people have been building them. I don't know. Look at that replica of the shard and the gherkin. That is amazing. Like a little train set here. Replica of Big Ben. So I guess people can just add and build onto these how they wish. Yeah, won't leave that there. That'll annoy people. Choking hazard, don't eat this. Yeah, well, mummy's here. Go on, Gabby, add something to the roof. <laughs> wow, I'll put a nice little red bit on the roof. On the door. I really like it in here. I feel like a child again. I love it. <laughs> wow. This is what he does at home. He just loves wow. to just throw stuff <laughs> Casper, don't make a mess. We never did go to a mother and baby group. <laughs> There's even a little photo wall to get your photo. Smile, Casper. Say cheese. cheese. Say Lego. Let him go. Look, he's off. <laughs> Gabby, we can play shop. <laughs> so look, there's even more Lego in here to play with. So there is a soft play, kind of. All well, these are, hard, they're softish. Who is it, Gabby? Well, it's Bobby Royal, but I don't know which one. Are you serious? It's King Charles. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I think it's supposed to be King Charles. No, it's not. It is. Why would it be here? His face is better. It's more like Prince Albert. Yeah, but it's Lego. Wow, look at this. Casper would have so much fun if he was a little bit older. Fresh and refill. All right, so you buy some of these cups and then you can just keep it refilled for as long as you like, as much as you like. Great Vanta. I just realized, yeah, that's all bits of Lego in there. I thought that was something else. So this is the, uh, this is the restaurant which we're gonna eat in tonight. But we better just check if we need reservations, you know. Lego Chef. So there's a stage there, so they do entertainment, I guess. Not right now, though. But look, all the kids get to walk up there and go into the little playhouse. That's cool. Aren't you gutted with adults now? Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. Wow, some of the Lego in here is absolutely huge. Look at that. Do you like the Lego, Casper? Do you like the Lego? He has no idea what Lego is. Gabby is mesmerised. So we could get a drink in here, maybe. So there is a little bit of a queue. But it's time for well-deserved drink. Cheers. I feel bad drinking alcohol at Legoland. 
Mind you, they do do some mean cocktails at the bar. Of course, um, adults and mums and dads are allowed to have a little bit of fun as well. So we've got dinner reservations at eight o'clock and we've realised that you have to book for dinner. You have to book to use the swim pool. Obviously, I couldn't film the swim pool, but the swim pool is actually really small. So I don't think we're missing out too much in it. It was like, I was really surprised yeah. how small the swim pool was. I was expecting it to be like on par with Splash Landings a little bit. I don't know yeah. why. Comparing it to the Alton Towers Hotel, it is a lot smaller, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, the theme is really, really good. I'm not even a Lego fan and I really like it. As we came in, we actually did ask someone about the food and they said it's not that great, breakfast is better. So we'll see what breakfast is like in the morning, but we'll go and check out the food. We might wish we brought our pot noodles with us. <laughs> Can you get delivery here? But don't be offended if you order a delivery. Nah. Can you imagine? So the menu is uh, three courses for $27.99. There isn't actually that much choice. I think I'm going to go for the mushroom on toast. I'll probably go for the cod and then some kind of dessert. What are you going to go for, Gabby? I can't remember without checking. I think it was like chicken wings for starters and then like an Indian kind of like naan bready main, I can't remember. Okay, so for dinner I went for mushroom and some kind of cheesy sauce on some sourdough bread. Gabby went for the chicken wings. Were they any good? I like the wings, they're probably the best bit. The dinner was, um, it wasn't very great to be honest. In fact, it was very similar to something I'd buy from Tesco's. Although they did give me two pieces of cod. Really Gabby had beans. Indian food. I don't think it was baked beans, it was chickpeas. No, well, it was like baked beans. It even had the same sort of height. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so dinner came to around about 76 pounds for three courses. Of course, we had some wine on that as well. The cheesecake was all right. The sauce on the cheesecake was the same kind of sauce you get with an ice cream, which was interesting. Gabby went for, um, <laughs> <laughs> He's standing the laugh in the back. The dessert was quite nice, apart from the fact that I ordered a vegan dessert and it came with ice cream. ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're going to see you in the morning for breakfast, and of course, we're going to go into Legoland. So, when Casper's finished switching the lights on and off, we'll see you in the morning. Morning, so we got down to breakfast as usually quite late, um, so we did just get the last few bits. Luckily we did get it on time, the restaurant closes at 10am so we were last in. Um, we went for a, a fry up each, um, the breakfast was alright, it was a little bit dry in places, the sausages looked a little bit pale, uh, there was a choice of tea and coffee, there was some croissants, some cereal and some orange juice as well. So with our tickets that we stayed the night in the hotel, we also get exclusive access into the park early at half past nine. Obviously we came to breakfast late, so we're not early. Now before we go in, I just wanna show you, there is another hotel just over there, which you could also stay in if you come to Legoland Resort. So with the private entrance as well, it was nice to see the welcome from the Lego man himself, or a Lego man. I have no idea what character this well, is. He was definitely a mascot of some description, wasn't he? Yeah. So there is another hotel here at Legoland Resort Windsor, and it's the Castle Hotel. Let me just quickly just show you inside, because it is pretty cool. However, I thought the rooms looked better in the other hotel. But brilliant theme, you know. We've got a medieval restaurant. This looks cool. Just have to show you the centerpiece of this restaurant, the fireplace. Look at that. It's actually making noise as well, like a, a real fire. Have you seen the size yeah, of these it. fish? Look at them, they're all expecting they're cups, food. Right? They're koi carp, I think. Look at them all, like, look, they're all like wanting food. Is there a feeding station here? I guess there must be. Imagine falling in there, Gabby. <gasps> oh my God, they would suck. They would just soak you. Well, they wouldn't eat you, they'd suck you to death, but <gasps> that's really freaking me out. I know, they're like snakes. They're like snakes, they're fish. Yeah, but look how slithery they are. You oh yeah. I mean? like they, See, you say about my phobia, would you, look does that faces. freak you out? The reason why I didn't stay in that hotel because the reviews didn't seem as good. It's not as big as the um, the big Legoland hotel, but it's nice that they give you an option. Anyway, there are two entrances. We're coming into this one. First time into Legoland, you don't look excited. I am excited. <laughs> really excited. There's a Legoland train. So checking out the ride times today, you can also get this on your app. 
I think the biggest queue is flight of the skyline, which is 50 minutes. When you've got young kids, that's not going to be good. Spinning spider, 20 minutes. Lego Ninja Django, the ride, 30 minutes. So Legoland does get busy. We're here in August. I guess the busiest that you'd probably ever find it. Um, the wait times on average are around about half an hour to 40 minutes. But you can buy um, an ultimate ride pass, which allows you to go on quite a few rides. Um, you reserve a time and you go back there. Prices start at £95 for that. I think we'll miss that. There's a Reserve and Ride Express, which is reduces your virtual wait time to 50%. So you still have to queue, but you like cut 50% off your time and then still pay £60 per person for it. But then you can do it per person per ride, but that will get very expensive. So I guess uh, we're just going to I say we queue naturally. You can also get a park map on your phone, so on the rides, and you can see where you're going. You can also just click on them, and I think it then tells you what the wait time is, so that's pretty good. Let's head into Heart Lake City, shall we? Eye patch, all hands on deck. Fire! Junior Pilot 2, fire! <laughs> yeah, I think this is a little bit wasted on Captain. But we're enjoying it, aren't we? So here's the park map. Normally the park map tells you where you are, but I can't see where we are on the map right now. I know this is where we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and check out um, Lego City and of course, Miniland. This is something I've always wanted to see as a kid. Look, we can rent one of these buggies for free. No, we can't, they're not free. free? That 10 pound. I tell you what, you hear the planes going all the time because you're literally just on the flight path of Heathrow, which is a little bit annoying when you're watching the show, isn't it? Gabby keeps calling these the Barbie people. They're not the Barbie people. <laughs> Have a photo. Smile. Always a good idea to get on the train. It um, gives you an idea of the park, doesn't it? And the wait time for this is only five minutes. Trying to keep up with this little man. He's so fast. Look, he's running to the train. That's it, keep going. Come on, come on. The train has arrived. Choo -choo. The train looks like Lego. Look at the roof. We've been waiting now 10 minutes on the train, waiting for it to go. Full house. <laughs> Are they blowing out? A bit of air. Hold air. Quite possibly the slowest train we have ever been on. No, it's, really it's not slow. quite possibly. It is. It is the slowest train we've ever been on. I guess it's so you can take in the sights. Yeah. We thought that was at least going to go around the park a little bit, but it really didn't. It just went round in a kind of a circle. Have you ever seen Lego camel before? Now you have. Almost a, a life-size pharaoh there. Look at that. That must have took some work. That's a long wait just for that tiny little ride. On TripAdvisor, somebody called this place an overpriced funfair. Really? Ninjango. I think this has one of the longest wait times today, around about 50 minutes. 55 minutes. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to film in there, but to be fair, a 50 minute wait when you've got an 18 month old. I'll pass anyway. Oh my god, the spider is moving. Can you see that? Ooh. Even though it's Lego, it still freaks me out. Typical one of the rides I did want to go on. And it's closed. Don't think this is going to be open for some time. And it's such a shame because it's what you want on a hot day, really, to get cooled off. Yet yeah, we didn't know there was this train that goes all the way down to the bottom. Although I didn't see a station for it. Wave to everyone. Hello. Is anyone going to wave? <laughs> I'm one of those annoying people. Hello. 
from up here you get an amazing view over to Windsor Castle and Heathrow Airport just over there. So I've managed to walk up to the main entrance of Legoland when you come in if you're not staying at the hotel. There's a coffee shop there and of course you can buy Lego from the shop. There's a whole load of Lego in there. So we needed a coffee stop. We was hoping there'd be a coffee um, place down where all the miniature Lego is, but we can't wait to get down there, so no. cheers. And we did just have that uphill struggle, didn't we? I know, exhausted. Someone on TripAdvisor actually said that this is compared to an expensive, overpriced fun fair. And I guess a lot of the rides are very like what you'd see at a fun fair, so it is weird when you see the ridiculous queues for like a little ride that just goes up and around and a pirate ship but that's yeah. what you're gonna get with Legoland. But I do think it's something more than a fun fair to be honest. How cool is that? Look at the Lego coffee cups. I have heard about this. I've definitely got to come back and stay in one of these little Lego houses. They look amazing. Woodland Lodge which opens up um, next year. That looks brilliant. I've seen loads of adults do this. If you don't want to go down the steps you can just go down one slide another slide another slide and one more to get to the bottom so when you think of Legoland you might not actually think of rides you think about this place and I've been wanting to come here since I was a kid this is Miniland let's go and take a look around check this out look London skyline the gherkin and the um, canary wharf I just remember seeing this on um, TV shows. In fact, I remember seeing this on um, Wish You Were Here with Judith Chalmers when I was a kid. And I was like, I want to go. And I remember saying to my parents, please, let's go, let's go. And uh, no, it never did actually happen. Look at this, though. The actual fire engine is moving on its own. It's not even on a track. How is it doing that? It's so clever. St Paul's Cathedral, you've got Big Ben, wow is that supposed to be Buckingham Palace and Nelson's Column yeah so this is supposed to be Covent Garden with the cinema just out there and the BT Tower I think yeah again I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments how these little lorries can go round on what looks like there's no track even though I can see kind of something love this look the center of London and you've even got a little mini underground station just here as well if we wait the train should come there it comes I've got an extendable tripod I can get really close to the action if I'm careful Little trains move in, there's buses moving on their own, trains going this way, there's boats, there's docks. It's a replica of the Eiffel Tower. You think about how long it takes to build these. On average, a good few hundred hours. Now, every few minutes, the spaceship goes up. Not very far or high, but it does. Five, four, we've gone for main engine start. We have. <laughs> Brilliant. I waited five minutes for that. I always like to see a miniature fun fair. I wonder if there is one around here. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a miniature fun fair just there. It's not moving though. It's like looking at Minecraft in real life. Sydney Opera House that is, isn't it? Wow, they've even got a replica of the Taj Mahal. New York. little mini Las Vegas the Luxor Hotel look at that and even the little Las Vegas sign well, there's not normally a train going through is there here's a better fun fair big wheel little rides going up 
Honestly, you don't know where to look next. Someone could tell me how these cars are moving. They must be on a track somehow. This is brilliant, a replica of the Great British Seaside and Brighton Pier. How cool is that? Look at Brighton Pier though, that looks really good. What's your favourite bit then so far, Gabby? Miniature World. The motorhomes, did you see the motorhomes? No, where are they? Just over there. It doesn't matter how old you are, you still find this fascinating, don't you? A yeah. little miniature world I made wanna, out of Lego. I wanna look here. There's Where? your little motor thing too. Oh right, over there. Love this though, look at this. Like a little seaside town with its own little lighthouse. The beach huts. Oh yeah. It's so cute. I was trying to figure out how the cars move on their own going along. I don't know, but the buses go in there, look. They're constantly redoing Lego, adding new bits all the time. So every time you come, you might see something new, you might see something changed, obviously updating with the times and stuff. I wonder how many times a day do people or children step over and start playing with them? I wonder how many times a day they have to stop people from doing that. There is even a Lego duck. Only joking. Not quite sure whether that duck is supposed to be in there. So this is the driving school and the kids can drive wherever they want. But the problem is, is they get a bit of a bottleneck and all the kids like a bunch together. They have to stop the ride and move them all out the way. I don't think I've ever seen a ride quite like this before. Whoa! It's like drifting on the water. Some people are going around here a bit of a fast lick, I tell you. Number one, look at number two going. Like I said, I've never been to Legoland and actually I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than it was. It was quite small and you could actually get around it quite easily in a few hours. As always with theme parks, the wait time on the rides can be quite long, but actually going with an 18 month old, there's very few rides that he could have gone on and actually queuing with an 18 month old probably wasn't the best. So let's talk about the hotel. Overall, I had a great stay. The thing that let the hotel down for me was the restaurant. Um, we met some people just before we arrived yesterday and they also said about the restaurant the the food last night was not great to be honest it felt like I was eating dinner at home which I bought cheap from Aldi to be honest in fact Aldi probably would have been a little bit better the breakfast was slightly better the room I was very surprised about I was expecting the worst actually because I read some of the reviews here but the uh, the room was really ultra clean I love the theming of the room love the bathroom and those bunk beds but I paid extra for a park view and it really wasn't a park view so I wish I'd have saved my money and just actually had a, a room facing at the front part of the hotel. There was an issue with the lifts. The lifts took forever and also there needed to be more lifts because at busy times you had to wait for ages, get really jam-packed into the lifts and go on each floor. One side opens then another side. It's really busy in the lifts all the time. Gabby said she'd stay here again. Personally I don't think I would now that I've done Legoland. Maybe when Casper's a little bit older but I wouldn't overly rush back. But comparing this to the Alton Towers Hotel so much better, so much cleaner, and so much nicer as well. And it smelled really good in there. If you want to see it on Towers Hotel, why not click the video here? If you want to see the hotel that I stayed in at Thorpe Park, which are these shark cabins made out of shipping containers, click the video here. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.